Hello, welcome to Design Time. I'm Jackie Lacey. This week we thought we'd spend a little time talking about Tillandsia, or i.e. air plants, and succulents, or the combination thereof. We're still seeing both of those trend heavily on social media. Um, brides are requesting to be added to their bouquets, to the centerpieces. It gives it that very natural sort of outdoors effect. And the great thing is with Tillandsia or air plants, not a lot of care is needed. And I think that's really what attracts people to the plant itself, as well as the variety. Tillandsia comes in several different shapes, several different varieties from this large, bulky, sizable one, and can be some different colors as well, variegation in the foliage, but they all have this similar look in the way that they grow. They also come in miniature. We happen to be in Florida, so we find these pesky little people all over our trees, eating our vegetation. They can sometimes be very evasive. That's one thing about them in the wild. They'll just appear from nowhere i.e. air plant and they grow virtually with very little care they don't like a whole lot of water number one especially if you're growing it inside where it's very dry you'll want to bathe or what I do is just take my Tillandsia and soak it in a tub of water about once every two to three weeks if you're in an area that has very high humidity. If you happen to be in a high dry area, then you might want to do that with a bit more frequency just so that it's getting the correct amount of moisture. They're very similar almost in the way that you're going to care for your orchid plants. Don't give them too much attention, but don't totally ignore them either. You want to make sure you're doing it just right. The great thing about Tillandsia is that people love the fact that it can very easily be added in to any kind of container. Hanging containers are really popular right now. People have them all over the place. You can see like this, our friends at Syndicate provided these that can be hung or strung up virtually anywhere. Don't take a whole lot of care, like we said. Let it sit in that bath of water for a couple of hours. They come in various sizes. We have larger here that can be suspended or it can be sat on a side table as well. And with adding them to the succulents because they are similar in the amount of water that they take is one reason that add, but it really does add that very woodsy appearance. If you can look at this one, We've combined a variety of succulents down in a really cool urban container, added in some of that roadside Floria that we happened to find outside that had some of the um, old man's beard moss growing on it, some of the lichen moss, and then we've attached some of those air plants that grow naturally in this particular area. Looks very outdoorsy, looks very um, casual. It's something that would be great for a party, for a wedding center, piece, maybe for a side table, that doesn't require a lot of care. Great for offices or for those extended designs where you might have to put into a hotel. If you're adding it into, say, some of your weekly orders, we've tucked them in here just occasionally up at the top on the support system that we're using for the Phalaenopsis orchid. But if you want to insert it into a design, simply add a skewer that's embedded right in the inside. We can see here, this one could easily be slid into the plant so that it stays securely there. Or if we wanted to add it into a design to give the family something to keep afterwards, like this one, we can see how that it's tucked down in there at that level. We could add another one right in up here or possibly on the back side, just embedded underneath the flowers. Here it becomes a focal. If you see that gray, gray, green color pulls your eye down right away so that you can see that something that's a little different. This is a traditional design that is going to have updated and generational appeal because we're appealing both to plants that are trending right now in a style that's trending, but it's not so far off that the more traditional person wouldn't like it as well. When we start to work it in with those succulent gardens that we 
added in a little bit of florals here. We've added our florals in water tubes and we've just simply embedded those down into the soil beside the succulents. You can put various color around the design, but then you can go back in and add in your Tillandsia plants in various places as well to give it that appeal. So now we have, again, pulled it into today's trends. We've added in a little bit of fresh product, so we might be able to use that for a get well, um, for a thank you, for a graduation, for a sympathy, for I'm sorry, for a congratulations. There's so many things that it can be used for. And then also when it comes to the succulents, we're seeing a lot of them with these painted edges like this. It gives you that bold color, but the question I always get, is that color going to remain as it goes down in there? It is spray painted or dipped on the plant, but we can easily see when we look into the center of that plant that it does not stay. It's going to be just on the tips, but that's still okay because as this plant continues to grow, the paint will probably dissipate a little bit. So we'll have those painted tips. It gives a great conversation piece. It's a way to update what we're seeing. The final thing that I want to share with you about Tillandsia, a lot of people will notice on the bottom when you look, there are some roots. That does not mean put those in any kind of soil because Tillandsia is an air plant. It absorbs its moisture, its nutrients from the air. And if you put it on top of the soil, it's going to get dark. It will discolor the foliage and it will cause it to die very quickly. So keep it away from the soil, water it, only occasional. You can mist it if you're in a high water content area, or you can give it a bath every two or three weeks if you're in a dry area. Look for those opportunities where you can add it into a floral arrangement or maybe into another plant just to update your look. We hope that you've enjoyed this and that you'll be able to utilize this. Check us out on Facebook or log on to our website, www.floriologyinstitute.com, and check us out again next time. See you again next time for design time.